We are learning tonight that a Minnesota native has been killed in Ukraine. Jimmy Hill was among many who died in a Russian attack in the city of Cherniv. He's at least the second American killed in the conflict. Fox 9's Mary McGuire joining us now from the newsroom. Mary, you spoke to Hill's family tonight. They must be devastated by this news. Kelsey and Randy, they are devastated and in shock. Jimmy was born and raised here in Minnesota, but spent a big portion of his adult life in Ukraine. And today his family learned that he was killed by Russian fire while he was trying to find food. Stuck inside a hospital in the city of Chernihiv in northern Ukraine, Jimmy Hill chronicled the war with short posts on social media. The 68-year-old was originally from the Iron Range of Minnesota, but was in Ukraine with his longtime partner, who was getting treatment for multiple sclerosis when the war broke out. We are trapped, he wrote on Sunday. They bomb here every night. One day later, hard to sleep, people getting depressed. And his final post on Tuesday, intense bombing, still alive, limited food, room very cold. His last communication was intense bombing, can't charge phone. His sister Katya says over the last 20 years, Jimmy spent half of his time in the U.S. and half in Ukraine, teaching classes and working as a social worker there. He was out trying to find food when he was gunned down by Russian artillery fire. He was only going out to try to find more food because the hospitals ration on millet and that's all that they were getting every day was a small portions of millet. Video from the Ukrainian State Emergency Service shows absolute destruction in a residential neighborhood in the city where Jimmy was killed. Officials there say 13 people lost their lives in the attack. That's the hardest thing. This does not still seem real at all. For Jimmy's sister, the news that her brother is dead is her worst nightmare come true. My biggest fear when I was warning my brother about staying over there that, you know, Putin's going to invade. And he said, no, he's not. He wouldn't dare invade. This can't, you know, this isn't going to happen. I said, Jim, look what he's doing with those tanks. Now, a State Department Department official did confirm to me that a U.S. citizen was killed in Ukraine. They offered their condolences to the family. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.